Hi guys, it's Alex Romano. How's everyone doing? Good, 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 I hope. I've wanted to review this fragrance for a really long time. It's been on my wish list for a very long time. So I thought I would do it, finally. So, this review is going to feel like going into the twilight zone just due to the theme of this fragrance, the way it smells, the notes, everything. This is, I'm just, I'm not going to say the full name because just for my own sanity and butchering the French language. We're just going to call it Herman for short. You can see the title by looking at the video. So the title of the perfume translates to By my side, Herman seemed to me like a shadow. So this fragrance came out in 2015 and I guess you could call it a woody fragrance but there's a whole lot of stuff going on in here. It's, um, you're going to have to kind of just get in the zone with this one. So this is Atal Libre d'Orange being very abstract. This is Atal Libre d'Orange making you think. This is playing with a very unusual concept because they do have fragrances that are, you know, classic. They have classic ambers, they have roses, but this one's right at the end of the spectrum as being different and strange, and that's why I like it. I've not smelled anything like this before. So it's about... Uh, a poem. It's about a poem by Victor Hugo about two horsemen riding through a forest and a conversation they have. And it's about having a shadow even when it's dark. So, it's about your shadow being your companion, it's about your shadow having a name, and it's about your shadow even having a fragrance. <laughs> so yeah, we're talking about imaginary things here. We're talking about weird wackadoodle coolness. So that's the theme. It's a lovely poem. And the fragrance is also very lovely, but it's a bit tough to get your head around, and it's going to be a tough one for me to review, but I'll do my best. So first of all, the note list. Get ready for this one, because there's a lot of stuff going on in here that's just like, well, what the hell? So the first one is Geosmin. I hope I'm saying that right, or Geosmin. Basically, it's the petrichor molecule. It's the molecule that's responsible for the smell when rain hits the earth. It's my favourite smell in the whole world. And I can guess that it's in the fragrance because this is about two people in a forest, so they're going for that earthy type feeling. There's also blackcurrant buds, black pepper, galbanum, and then another molecule called calypsone. And calypsone is meant to give a uh, watery, ozonic feeling to a fragrance. Then you have frankincense, pepperwood, and then another molecule called petalia, or Petalia? I'm sure it's Petalia. It's a synthetic floral molecule that's somewhere between roses and lily of the valley. It has both of those nuances going on. Then you have rose absolute, patchouli, and then a final molecule called ambroxan. And ambroxan is used to give fragrances volume and diffusivity, if that's even a word, and woodiness. And to me it kind of smells silvery and metallic and woody and cold. So. How does this smell? <laughs> what do you think? So I'm going to start by saying that this is one of those fragrances that, that can easily be over-applied. I have worn too much of this on too many occasions where it can become everywhere. Um, it's, it's one of the more diffusive fragrances to come from Italy Boudoron. Experimentum Crucius, their newest one, is by far the craziest diffusive one, and Rien as well, but this one's up there with those guys. So. This is extremely abstract, as you can imagine. It doesn't feel like a perfume or a fragrance. It's about shadows. It's about weird, kind of ghostly forest conversation that happens between two horsemen. And to me, essentially, it is a very abstract rose. The molecules in here make it feel very cold. Um, it's very metallic. And what's going to sound weird is it smells like the colour of the bottle. The bottle is like a slate, grey, metallic, uh, kind of maybe gunmetal grey sort of colour. And this feels like that. It feels like a cold, icy rose with some earthiness, a gentle peppery spice, and it smells silvery and watery. And that's it's really hard to describe, but that's how it feels. Like I said, it's not a perfume. It's more... It's, the molecules are what comes into play a lot in this, this petrichor thing. Although it's not super earthy, it's quite tangy and kind of tingly smelling. And the rose in it is there, but it's not a pretty 
kind of sweet fluffy rose. It's a cold, soulless type rose fragrance. Even though it's not fragrance, it's more of a, an experience, I would say. It's a tough one, but it's really great. I do want it in my collection because it's very unlike anything I've smelled before. Obviously this feels very synthetic and that was done on purpose. They're playing with molecules here. Synthetic molecules that make fragrances don't feel, make fragrances not feel like perfumes. It's something else. It's a different part of the fragrance wheel, I guess. And although it does have this transparency and this cold metallic silveriness, it does perform. It really does. The sillage is crazy. It projects really well. Like I said, it's one of those things that can be everywhere if you spray too much of it. That's how molecules act. They're diffusive. They're kind of crazy. And they just went right ahead with it and really followed that theme through. I love the story. I love the way it smells. It's kind of intriguing and hard to pinpoint what you're actually smelling, but because I've worn this so much and done my research, this is what I feel it is. I feel like it's a, a cold, soulless, ghostly rose with pepper and a bit of a cold earthiness and silver. It feels like, this is gonna sound dumb, but it feels like this, like moonlight. I don't know, they've captured something pretty special here. And I love me an abstract fragrance, which is why I wanted to do this review for you. So in terms of development, to me, this is very linear. I, to me, it, it smells the same way the whole way through. I guess it does get a tiny bit sweet. There is a, a tang of sweetness to this as well, but mainly it's the cold stuff I spoke about. But this is straight down the line for me, and I like that. I like that it stays how it is. It's a solid fragrance that doesn't try to give you a story in terms of development. It's just bang, this is the story and this is what you're gonna smell like. Longevity is great. I get 12 hours plus out of this. I really want it in my collection. I will get it eventually. Um, and that's all I can say really. I think it's a really cool one. It's something different. I recommend trying it out for sure. Anyway, if you guys wanna get this fragrance, head on over to natino.co.uk. I will post a link below to it. They sell it there. I think maybe you can get samples too. I'm not sure. Anyway, I'm Atch Ramano. Click my logo down there to subscribe. I'm trying to make the world smell better one video at a time. Thanks for watching, guys. Goodbye.